Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avendian, welcoming you to a brand new episode of This is the Police. Uh, we've got prostitution going up, doctors wanting to be able to kill people if they ask for it, and a soap actor ending his career. Uh, City Hall and the Mafia are both pretty happy. Right? Life is good. Yes, absolutely. What oh, kind of the Mafia killer? I just don't... I always pick fire in the brain here. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, may I am not having satanic powder now. That's pretty serious. Go get him, Odin Beard. Your magnificent beard will force them to surrender. I would not put it past this game to actually. It turns out that actually is a weapon in progress. Against as well, attempting to blackmail him into having sexually made a part of the. I've got to take that seriously, even though I suspect it's BS. Because yeah, it made a very clear point of saying she only heard part of the conversation. Good work. Odin Beard! Well, I couldn't take the risk. That was, you know, you know. We're quickly approaching day 100. I like the little xylophone thing, it's pretty cool. Oh! I just saw the magic word that's always going to get the police to show up. G U N. Uh, yeah, let's send some people to that. And you can even have a swap. I now pronounce you husband and wife and may now kiss you for kiss her, you fool. Uh, let's clobber him with a night stick. Uh, yes, you can have reinforcement. He's just sitting there. Maybe he's just kind of depressed. That's not a reason to call the cops. We'll definitely respond to that. An arms shipment? Yeah, get out there. You gotta start coming back soon, right? I wonder who our long- Van Dahl has one of our longest since July 15th. Yeah, we've had him since the first day of the game. I think we've had Cook that long, too. Oh, no, not quite. Samadhi. Nice. Yeah, he just got fired. Black box is into a van. Let's put a hole in the tire. Oh, shit, a grenade launcher? Uh, stun the dudes. Whew. 
You guys are fucking badasses. Yeah, let's let's sell the gun and then everyone can share in the profits. You deserve that. Damn. Hanging around the selling cigarettes. This is a dumb reason to call the cops, but it's still illegal. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, if they're wearing a suicide vest, we're, we're responding hardcore to that. Got him. Three new frames. Yeah, I don't think there's actually room for any more frames, so we can start trying to put this together. A muddy fellow wearing a hood, whirling through the alley near the fur fur store. Then I got distracted. I heard some rumbling and hissing like cars running into each other. A boy in a hood popped through the gate, grabbed my bag from the shoulder, and disappeared. Hit the fire hydrant and ran away. Snow white handbag. Convertible crashing into a fire hydrant. Yellow paint. Okay. She didn't say you didn't say anything about a knife. So okay. He just ran up and grabbed it. Ice, hang on. She gets out of the car. Kid grabs it. She calls the cops. It's a fire hydrant. Okay, so we got in right after that. There's no breaking a glass. Did he honk the horn? Did he have the keys? Yeah, he probably had the keys. Oh no, or did he hotwire it? If he did hotwire it. Went inside. Yellow paint on the fire hydrant. The guy ran into me hard. Okay, so we ran away after that. Maybe this is what we have. the car. He's got to get in the car first. Sure to the phone to call the police.
He dashed inside. There might be one more frame. I think we'll wait and see if we get more later. I don't know for a fact that there's one more frame, but I suspect there might be. I, was trying to raise 10 I can't send anyone. I don't have anyone to send. Good work, everyone. Yep, and then you'll all get a piece of the progress. End the day. Most calls are for false alarms. Perfect, everyone likes us. If we don't get new frames at the end of the at the end of this day, then we will be bored. I feel bad about Dan. I feel real bad about him. That's super suspicious. Go handle it, folks. Like, there are innocent reasons to just leave a bag somewhere, but there aren't many of them. It's definitely dicey. I don't know if we're gonna make the 500 grand or not. We need to take down, like, a major gang. That's where the good money is. They're drunk, but yeah. Make sure everyone's at a safe distance. But we gotta get the remote control. That was an actual bomb threat. Good. Eh, we'll bring it to the police station. We can't sell everything. Yeah, that's super creepy. Go take care of it. Got him. Good work. Who is Middleton? Oh, you haven't been here that long. That's why I don't remember you. Sounds like a job for Molly McMullerson. Oh, well, I, I have no issues with going to that false alarm. Get into the gang investigation. Those are fun. I don't think I will. I think I screwed up a lot. a detective for a very long time. What is her first name? I've always just called her Mole. Laura. Yeah, 
she's never failed an assignment. That's awesome. Yeah, that's an issue. Don't be selling guns to kids, that's just fucked up. You get any donuts? Aww. It's a bakery. Five ten in progress. Shooting. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. We're gonna wait and see if we can get the paddy wagon available. I was trying to raise ten one to pop. Yeah, you guys can have a couple extra. I can't send swap. The swap's already somewhere else. Sorry, the robbery is just gonna have to not be a thing. We've got a situation here. Order them to surrender. They might be back PDQ. Pretty damn quick. More 10 a in progress. Damn, our cops are getting to be superstars now. Okay, let's go respond to the robbery. And what's this about an attempted murder? Ooh. We did get a new frame, okay. That's not part of it. Is it? No, the car is definitely yellow. That's not up for debate. There's the car, she gets out. Kid runs up, grabs her purse. She calls the cops, he runs away. He gets in the car. Then he had the keys. The only thing I think it was that he rammed it and then ran away. I'm gonna wait one more day. I, I know this seems like I'm. Um, there's something missing. Because there's some reason we're not getting it. We know the car is yellow, we know her purse is white, so most of that doesn't matter. Maybe one more day we'll get one more frame and then we can finish that. Oh. Well. I guess that was an ideal, but you know. Oh uh, yeah, you can have definitely have some of that. Very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. Good work. Good work. That's a lot.
lot of beer, Jack. Oh, pardon. Who's there? Show yourself or I'll start popping off. You're supposed to have before you start shooting Mr. again. Mr. Boyd, it's me, Mr. Fry. I don't know any Mr. Fry, and if I did, I wouldn't want him coming around in the middle of the night. Mr. Boyd, I'm a private detective. I was looking for your wife, Laura. Right, right, my wife, Laura. I, I'm looking for my wife, Laura. La Laura Markham Boyd. Right, right. You want to throw on a robe, Mr. Boyd? I'm not cold. So, <laughs> Laura, what have you learned? I know where she lives, who she's with. I know what her plans are. <laughs> to tell the truth, I learned even more than I expected, but I can't tell you anything. I'll keep a hold of this thing just in case. So, what were you saying? I said I can't share this information with you, Mr. Boyd. You see, Laura... Well, let's say... Your beloved Laura is with a very wealthy man. I consider myself a good investigator, but he figured out pretty quick that I was onto him. We talked. All three of us. Me, him, Laura. And, um, well, we agreed that I'd stop bothering them. And in return, I'm getting a very good position in the company he owns. Mr. Oh, <laughs> I almost gave the name away. <laughs> you do realize I could shoot you right here. Well, that would hardly be fair, Mr. Boyd. I, I might not have come here, you know. But I decided to come clean with you. Look you in the eye. I don't want you blaming Emma. She really wanted to help you. Plus, Mr. Boyd, <laughs> I like you. You're a good chief of police, and I feel bad for you. So, I talked to Laura, and she'll call you when she's ready. You just need to wait a little longer, and... Well, I'm not taking a penny from you for my services. Get out. That's pretty reasonable. Leave the beer. <laughs> oh, come I on, Jack. Drank half of it. Don't worry, I'm not squeamish. God damn it, Jack. Hey, Fry, take off your shoes. I'm sorry? Take off your shoes. Leave them at the door and get out. What? But why? Because when I asked you to leave the beer, it seemed like you didn't really mind. And I want you to mind. Those are nice looking shoes. And the socks. Oh, come on. Fine. Good night. <sighs> Jack Boyd, you bastard. I can't stay mad at you. There's a naval mine in the dump? I don't know how that got there. And we've got a free pair of shoes. And socks. Uh, yeah, you bastard. I think this will be the last uh, day for this particular episode. Free drinks for all the cops and fire. Yes, give me all the things, please. Four eleven in progress. Yeah, let's get people out there. It would be super dodgy of me to kill Barton just to free up a spot, right? Like, it's only a thousand dollars. Oh no, because you know what? She wouldn't go alone. No, it's not worth it. I'm not killing a good cop to get rid of her. Yeah, we gotta respond to that. 
When do I stop getting my salary cut? I mean, the city hall likes me so much. I'm gonna send Barton, even though she sucks, just to get her out of my face. There be a robbery here. Yeah, that's very, very suspicious. Let's go. We just hope that nothing else happens between now and then. I say that. God damn it, Barton. That was your fault. If one of them is carrying a weapon, then we got to respond to it if we can in time. Officer on scene. Looks like we have a... Two are gym with guns. Take that one over there, the flat screen. Yeah, let's shoot the bastards. God damn it, Barton. You got someone killed, you worthless old hag. It's a fucking dentist. Of course they've got drugs. I don't want to get my teeth pulled out without anesthesia. The fuck is wrong with you? in the dentist office. There's a shooting, we'll send people out. Can we send Barton to like, get less shitty? It's not the worst idea I've ever had. I've had bad ideas though. If we can make her worthwhile, I'll keep her. But I think she screwed us out of passing that one case we had earlier. Uh, if he starts shooting, shoot him back. Come out with your hands up. No, he's just a large person with hands. It turns out most people have two of them. So, you know, go to hell. Crazy ass bastard. It's almost midnight, we should be getting a report in. It was a scarecrow. No new frames. So what are we missing here? Alright, the car is definitely yellow. Handbag is snow white. Runs away down the street. Yellow paint on the fire hydrant. Yeah, this is definitely not it either. Okay, 
this definitely shows her running away with the white with running away with the white bag. Is this him getting in or getting out? There we go, that was the problem. Works at the car wash. Attend school diligently. Can I click on it again to actually see? Um... I'm gonna guess he's at the car wash. I could also cover my ass and send two other people, but... I'm pretty sure he's at the other one. Like, I'm not saying you can't be a carjacker and also, you know, yeah. Got him. Nice. And with that, a successful arrest, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode. So... Thank you very much for uh, for watching, as always. Um, it really does mean a lot to me to see that a video gets plenty of views and comments and stuff like that. It's, it's what makes me keep going, because I don't get paid for this. Um, I don't want to get paid for this, but if people aren't watching videos, if they're not responding, if they're not enjoying the content, it's kind of a waste of my time, and it's a waste of your time. So thank you for taking the time to watch. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, for now, though, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can get more videos about This is the Police and other such ilk. Uh, and until then, this has been Indian, and I bid you good day.